Hello, everyone. This is Bryna Block from the San Diego Center for AIDS Research, or SDCFAR. And this is a brief video tutorial on registering for city program training in human research participants protection. There are many training programs in human research participants protection, but this is the accepted standard. City program training or other training in human research participants protection is required for certain grants funded by the San Diego Center for AIDS Research. So when if you uh, have one of these grants and you are required to take this training, it's recommended that you go to cityprogram.org and then you can click register. The first thing to do is select an affiliation. Because your research is being funded by the San Diego Center for AIDS Research, you can select University of California, San Diego, or any other of our member institutions, Scripps Research, San Diego State University, La Jolla Institute for Immunology. And the reason you want to work through one of our institutions is you can take the training program for free. Otherwise, you would have to pay. Um, if your own home institution is registered with the city program, then you may certainly use that institution for your affiliation. But for this tutorial, we're going to use University of California, San Diego. San Diego. Click to agree to the, to the term of service and click to affirm that you are an affiliate. Again, because your research is funded by an SDC FAR member in institution, then you can qualify as an affiliate of that institution, in this case, the University of California, San Diego. Now we're going to create a program account. So I'm going to enter fictitious information here, but of course you can enter your own name. And let's see, what is Marianne's email address? And you have an option for a secondary email address if you wish to have a backup, but it's not required. Only fields that have asterisks by them are required. Continue to step three. Okay. This page is really important. Remember it or print it out and write down the information that's not clearly displayed. Because when you're ready to log back into the city program, say to continue your training or to complete another course, you will need to log in using the same username and password. And so let's see, there are a number of options here. I'm going to just pick one for the security question that they'll ask you if you need to re-enter your username or password. And I'm going to select Chicago and continue to the next step. Again, you may want to take a screenshot or print this page and then write down your password and keep it in a safe place in case you forget your access information for the city program. When you're ready, continue to step four. Now we select your country of residence and please feel free to enter your own country of residence. For this tutorial, I'm going to enter the United States. And then this is a marketing question. It's required, but you can answer no. And then continue to step five. Um, these are a number of questions about um, continuing education credits that is not required for SDC FAR funded grants, so you may click no and continue to step six. Here you can choose between English and Spanish, and I wish there were options for Portuguese and French and other languages, but for now we have just English and Spanish. And here it's recommended if you have a University of California, San Diego email address, enter it. But if not, just enter the one that you have. 
and enter the one that you have. And then your highest degree, and we do MD, PhD, and employee and department are optional. Here you need to select your role in your SDC FAR funded research. And there are a number of options to choose from. Most likely you'll be a principal investigator or a co-investigator. The next few fields are blank. They would like a telephone number. You can enter your own telephone number. And then the course that you plan to take. There are two courses that are accepted for SDC FAR funded grants, biomedical and social and behavioral. Biomedical research training is for studies where you will actually be con in physical contact with the research participants, for example, taking their vital signs or drawing blood. And social and behavioral research is more in the line of administering surveys or conducting focus groups. You may be in the same room with that person, or you may be in contact with them um, over the internet or by telephone, but you will not be contacting them physically. So for this tutorial, I'm going to select biomedical. The next option, the next field is optional and continue to step seven. Here you're going to select the courses that you want to take. So we just talked about biomedical research. That's the one we're taking. And by the way, you can return to this section at some point in the future if you want to take additional training. You do not want to take good clinical practice training. It is not accepted by the NIH program officers that uh, that approve funding for our studies. You do not wish to take a refresher course because you have not completed the basic course. And this is Spanish for the uh, good clinical practice course. You don't want that. And this is Spanish for the refresher course, and you don't want that. And then for the rest of these, you do not wish to take them at this time. Laboratory animal welfare training will be required through another program if your study involves animal training. So you can skip that. You can skip this question and this one and all of the rest at this time. And then complete your registration. And then finalize your registration. So here you are, you're, you're registered, and you can view the courses that are available through the University of California, San Diego. Here is the one that we have selected, biomedical research. When you're ready to begin, click Start Now and agree to the terms of service. And click Submit when you're ready. Now you can complete the 16 required modules, and if you wish, there are extra modules that you can take, optional ones. But you have to complete the courses in sequence. And as you complete each one, you can return, you return to this page and you can take the next module. It will take between two and four hours to complete all of these 16 modules. When you are done, you will have an option to obtain a certificate of completion. Choose that option and save the certificate of completion as a PDF and email it to the SDC FAR administrative team. You can also take a screenshot of the picture of the certificate if you want and email it to us. When you are ready to log out, say you've completed a couple of modules and you need to take a break for a while, go up here and click Log Out. And then you will be able to log in again. And when you're ready to log in again, you need that username again.
and you need your user password. And then you come back right where you left off. Okay, I'm going to log out. And that concludes this training. If you have any questions, please email CFAR, C-F-A-R, at ucsd.edu. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.